Should you switch to a new version of Stepmania, or are all versions basically the same thing? When my last video about Stepmania came out, we overviewed Stepmania 5 and Outfox. Well now, a third contender has joined the fray, ITG Mania. We have four versions of Stepmania to test today, so let's find out which is best. In the first test, we'll see which version of Stepmania has the best FPS. Then we'll see which version has the best resource utilization. We'll see which version is the best for long marathon songs. Lastly, we'll see the impact of doing some various actions in the program, like entering and exiting songs and applying rate mods. We talked about Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 last time. It's the latest branch of SM5, but it isn't found on Stepmania's website, so it can be a little tough to find a working build. Outfox, or the Stepmania formerly known as 5.3, was also mentioned in my previous video. Project Outfox is an extensible rhythm game engine based on Stepmania 5.1, featuring 18 different modes simulating different dance, instrument, and key-based rhythm games. Their website says one of the main goals is to refactor its internal code base to improve performance. We're going to test that. ITG Mania is a newer fork of Stepmania 5.1 that has a built-in integration with Groove Stats and Stamina RPG and comes packaged with Simply Love. It also includes several bug fixes. Finally, OpenITG is a fork of Stepmania 3.95 that aims to replicate the original in the Groove game. This is the only program that isn't based on SM5, so it uses a different version of Simply Love that is not really apples to apples. The specs of my machine are on screen. I had two programs in addition to the game running for each test, OBS and Process Explorer, which took about 30% of CPU while in use. I tried to make all of the setups as similar as I could, but not all options were available with each version. For the first test, we'll play a medium length stamina song, Summer Lights 13 from Hellblindy PDTA. While this song is playing, I'll capture the FPS over time and the overall average FPS at the end of the song. OpenITG finishes the test with 439 FPS on average. ITG Mania finishes with 564 FPS on average, moving into first place. Step Mania 5.1 Beta 2 finishes with 524 FPS, which isn't enough to dethrone ITG Mania. And finally, Outfox comes in on top with 664 FPS on average. Looking at the results over time, while Outfox is consistently above the pack, most of its lead is gained from the breaks in the song where there's less arrows on screen. I also tracked some resource usage details from a program called Process Explorer. This gave me the following information. CPU and GPU usage. Dedicated GPU memory. This is basically how much VRAM is being used on the GPU. And private bytes, which refers to the amount of memory that the process is asking for, not necessarily how much it's actually using. The recommended amount of dedicated RAM I should have to the server. Let's take a look at CPU usage. Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2, Outfox, and ITG Mania all use about the same CPU usage. But wow, look at OpenITG down there, using about 4% CPU on average. Very impressive! GPU usage is pretty similar across the board, but OpenITG takes the lead with the lowest overall, followed by Outfox. In dedicated GPU memory, Outfox did the best here, using about 110 megabytes on average, followed closely by OpenITG. In private bytes, OpenITG is the winner at 140 megabytes on average, but followed closely by Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 with 149 megabytes. Very impressive considering it's running the updated and much more feature-rich version of Simply Love for SM5. Outfox and ITG Mania are both making much more use of the available memory here with 305 and 331 megabytes on average respectively. The Outfox data worries me a little bit because it looks like it's increasing steadily over time. Could this be what they call a memory leak? We'll have to do a longer test to find out. In the next test, we're going to play a much longer stamina song, Arc 07 from Hellblindy PDTA, which is a 43 minute long marathon. Let's look at the FPS we saw during the marathon. Overall, the standings are the same as the shorter song, but all of the averages are lower, making the results much closer. Outfox is still the winner with 518 FPS on average. But now, ITG Mania and Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 are much closer with 450 and 439 FPS respectively. Open ITG brings up the rear with 384 average FPS. Let's look at the results over time. Overall, the results look very similar to the shorter song, but all of the values are lower across the board. 
I think this may be because Arc 07 is a 19 and is much denser with more notes on the screen when in comparison to Summer Lights, which is only a 13. But that's enough on FPS. Let's look at the resource usage in this 43 minute period. GPU usage is similar to the first song, but with tighter couplings between Outfox and OpenITG for the lead, and Outfox and Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 in the rear. In dedicated GPU memory, it's damn near identical between ITG Mania and Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2. ITG Mania is a fork of Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2, so I expected to see some similarities. Outfox used the least GPU memory, but is closely followed by OpenITG. All of the contenders were remarkably stable with this metric through the duration of the test. On CPU usage, again, OpenITG blows away the competition with its average CPU utilization at less than 4%. Very impressive. The other contenders are very close in comparison, with ITG Mania taking up the lead with an average of 22.8%. And last but not least, the memory usage. OpenITG and Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 are neck and neck, with OpenITG edging out the competition with 149 megabytes average for the win. ITG Mania used much more memory with an average of 279 megabytes. But most concerningly, Outfox increased its memory usage steadily for the duration of the test run. The increase was about 1.5 megabytes per minute. Overall, the memory utilization was pretty low, ending around 334 megabytes. But this was only a 43 minute song. If this was a lower end system with less memory and you were playing the 7 or 24 hour marathons, you'd be really bummed out if your game crashed because you ran out of memory. Not sure that would happen, but it's something to be wary about when using this version of Outfox. In the next test, I enter into a song, let it play until it fails, then back out and return to the song wheel. I repeat this process 10 times. This is to simulate a player's set where they play multiple songs. For this test, I measured only the private bytes. Most of these programs increase their memory use when they left the song and entered the song wheel. Then when re-entering the song, the memory would dip back down again. This is why you see this sort of a sine wave on the chart. OpenITG is the clear winner here. Not only is it the lowest memory utilization, but it barely has any increase in the memory between the song and the song wheel. Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2 also did very well. The memory did go up when entering the song wheel, but it always went back down once returning to the song. ITG Mania used a lot more memory, but more importantly, from the first to the tenth song play, it used about 38 megabytes more memory with a slight increase. Outfox had an even bigger increase, increasing a whopping 129 megabytes from its first play of the song to the tenth. So not only does Outfox increase in memory throughout the duration of a song, it also uses a bit more memory every time you quit out and start a new song. Ouch. For a long time, especially on Windows, users have complained about their sync drifting. A player will sync the music to the chart on their setup, and maybe the next set it will be off sync again. Some people have proposed that tabbing out of full screen can cause problems with the sync of the game. So in this test, I tab out of full screen 10 times, then play the song again. Then I'll play both runs at the same time, syncing them on when the first arrow appears at the bottom of the screen. This is not a perfect test because OBS might not capture the arrow at the exact same pixel position, but it should be pretty close to tell if there's something terrible happening. Since both videos are synced to the same position of the arrows, we're expecting the audio of each video to be offset from one another. Here are the results. Overall, while there are some very slight differences, I can't detect anything being noticeably out of sync after tabbing out of 10 times from any of the programs. Older versions of Stepmania, when speeding up audio with rate mods, would make vocalists sound like chipmunks. Newer versions of Stepmania do not do this. They preserve the pitch when speeding up the song, though you can modify them to use the old scaling method. ITG Mania in particular allows you to choose this behavior in the operator menu. So if you want both options, this seems like the best way to go. Since I have all of these set up, let's take a listen to how Summer Light sounds at 2x with each program. It's also worth noting that Outfox was much quieter than all the other programs, so I boosted the gain in editing to match the others. To me, I can't tell much of a difference between the SM5 lineage programs.
but open ITG and ITG Mania when the preserve pitch option is disabled sound very different. And honestly, I think I prefer it. Something about the pitch increasing with the rate makes you feel like it's a much faster and exciting song. It's important to recognize that all of these were tested with a custom theme, Simply Love, and that any of these issues that we identified might be related to the theme or the program, we don't really know. But that said, they were all tested in a level playing field. All SM5 Lineage apps were tested with the same up-to-date version of Simply Love with the settings as close as I could get them. The big outlier is of course OpenITG. Regarding the programs tested in this video, I really like Stepmania 5.1 Beta 2. It performed very well, especially on longer marathons with its memory utilization. It's got good compatibility with most content out there and can be retrofitted to work with GrooveStats. Outfox and ITG Mania both did better if FPS is what you're after. They have nice features and good community support, but I'd watch memory utilization if you play longer songs or sets, or leave your machine on all day in a public place, especially with Outfox. Definitely think twice before you attempt a 24-hour marathon. And OpenITG performed extremely well if you consider the amount of CPU it was using. However, it is based on Stepmania 3.95, so some charts and themes are not compatible. And a few times when I was messing with settings, I crashed the game, so I don't think most users would like it. All the videos on this channel, including this one, are viewer suggested. So if you have a video idea, I hope you'll take time to leave a comment. Thank you so much for watching. Please take care and look forward to next time.